That is why I want to focus the remainder of my remarks today on two issues, one deeply historic and one contemporary, but linked by that common thread of misogyny. Before this Parliament right now is a petition demanding a pardon for the more than 4,000 people in Scotland, the vast majority of them women, accused and in many cases convicted and executed for being witches under the Witchcraft Act of 1563. Those who met this fate were not witches, they were people and they were overwhelmingly women. At a time when women were not even allowed to speak as witnesses in a courtroom, they were accused and killed because they were poor, different, vulnerable, or in many cases, just because they were women. It was injustice on a colossal scale, driven at least in part by misogyny in its most literal sense, hatred of women. The pardon the petition calls for would require this parliament to legislate, and in future this parliament may choose to do so. But in the meantime, the petition also calls for an apology. After all, these accusations and executions were instigated and perpetrated by the state. And so today on International Women's Day, as First Minister on behalf of the Scottish Government, I am choosing to acknowledge that egregious historic injustice and extend a formal posthumous apology to all those accused, convicted, vilified or executed under the Witchcraft Act 1563. Now, some will ask why this generation should say sorry for something that happened centuries ago, though it might actually be more pertinent to ask why it has taken so long. But for me, there are three reasons. Firstly, acknowledging injustice, no matter how historic, is important. This Parliament has issued, rightly so, formal apologies and pardons for the more recent historic injustices suffered by gay men and by minors. We are currently considering a request for a formal apology to women whose children were forcibly adopted. Reckoning with historic injustice is a vital part of building a better country. So too is recognising and writing into history what has been for too long erased the experiences and the achievements of women. Second, for some, this is not yet historic. There are parts of our world where even today women and girls face persecution and sometimes death because they have been accused of witchcraft. And thirdly, fundamentally, while here in Scotland the Witchcraft Act may have been consigned to history a long time ago, the deep misogyny that motivated it has not. We live with that still. 